hello all welcome to tech capture so today in this our series python with google cloud we are going to see how we can build our google cloud infrastructure using a python so we'll be using a google cloud python libraries to build our infrastructure in google cloud so we'll build a network we'll build a sub network then we'll create some storage bucket and then a compute instances so as the python even it is not a infrastructure as a code tool like a terraform but in some cases we can use python to create our scalable infrastructure so though it is not recommended for production but in most of the automation in production or if you have any specific use cases where you have to build infrastructure in production like a complex logic or you have to integrate your current google cloud structure with your on premises or a complex logic or you have to do some testing so that cases you can use python to build your google cloud infrastructure so i'll first show you the current setup in my google cloud so i'll show you the compute currently i do not have any compute engine okay so i do not have any compute engine or computing vm instance created here and i have only these storage buckets and i only have my a default vpc created here now i'll go to my a uh, python code so here i have a return a uh, main.py so first i'll execute my code and then i will explain you how i have written this code so i'm calling this function create network create sub network create a gc instance create a bucket and i'm passing some parameter inside this function so you, once i execute this code it will call the functions i have written in uh, another python files so let me first go to the terminal and execute my code so i'll simply execute first python main.py so i will execute single file which will create my required infrastructure so let me execute this okay first we'll refresh here we'll see if it is creating anything here Okay, it created one app VPC. Let's check the logs now. So it is showing creating VPC. Now VPC created. It should create a subnet now. Let me refresh here. So currently, okay, it's now created. The subnet also got created. Okay, and let me go to the VM instance. So currently there are no VM instance. Let me refresh and it should create a VM instance soon. So let me create it. Yes, it created a test one instance and in storage bucket currently I have only 001 and 00 bucket. So let me refresh. So now you could see it created a dev 003 bucket as well. Now let me go to the logs. Yeah, so it created bucket dev 003 and VM instance also it got created. So currently I have given a very small set of infrastructure that is only one vpc one subnet one instance and one storage bucket but using this single file i have created all my required infrastructure so now i can scale it to required number i can create any number of compute machines here i will show you how but before that first i will show you how i structure this code so just go one by one so what i did i did create a multiple modules here or you can see a python file so first a network file or before that i'll go to var file so in var i have defined some variables like project and region a debian image for or a windows image and this is a project i'm using and this is the region so if i have multiple variables i'll just put in my variable file just like a terraform after that i created my network file here I am creating my network and subnetwork. Let me go to network.py. Here I have a subnet and network function. So you could see my create network function. So here I mentioned my uh, service account credential in key.json file. The file is placed here and this is being used for authentication. Then I have defined this client which will be used to perform API calls. Now first I am creating a network 
first it is checking if my network is exist if it is already exist it will say it already exists i'll show that also i'll execute the same code again and it should say vpc already exist if it is not exist then only it is creating my vpc okay and i put the sleep here because sometimes till the time the vpc creation is in progress my subnet will be creating so that time it might give an error so i put a time slip here for 30 uh, 10 second after here that i am creating a sub network here the same process for sub network as well i first checking if it already exist if not then i'll create the subnet and again i put a time slip of 10 second because it will take some time to create a network and sub network so this is for network part then I am creating a GC instance. So let me go to a compute.py. So here I have create GC instance function. So I'm calling this function and these are the required parameter I need to pass. And I am passing this in my main.py. Okay. So let me go back here. Here also I am doing the same thing. I am checking the available instance first. If my instance is already there, it will say VM instance exist. Else it will create that instance. So I will share this code. No worry. I'm just trying to explain you the code. Okay. And if already exist, it will say a VM instance exists. And same for storage bucket as well. So that code I have in storage.py. So first I am checking. So this lookup function is used or method is used to check if my bucket is already there. If it is there, it won't create it. So I'll execute my code again and you will see all these print messages where I mentioned it already exists and it won't create or give an error while creating the infrastructure again. So in metadata py, I'm not using it, but in later point of time, I will use it. I'm just getting all my infrastructure details using this a metadata py. So let me go and execute the same code again. And you will see, it will say VPC already exist, sub network already exists and a VM instance already exists. Now you can see it is showing a PPC already exists, subnet already exists, VM instance test one already exists and bucket bkt dev003 already exists. So it is not giving any error or it is not a recreating anything. So now just an example, I need to create a four different virtual machine. One thing I have, I can keep calling this module again and again like this just i missed it just a second so i can keep calling this modeling again and again but that is not a best practice what i can do i'll show you so i'll call this module only once instead i'll define a multiple variables in my variable file so already i have it, have it. i'll just show you let me go down and yeah so i purposefully kept it here because i want to first show you the singular way and then i will show you how we can build a scalable infrastructure Okay, so here I have a config where I have to suppose create a two virtual machine. So I am creating the list of configuration. First, I am creating a Linux machine. Second, I am creating a Windows machine. So I can give a multiple configuration here. I can give supports one more. I'll just give one more here. So I am creating a three virtual machine now. And the name here I will give VM1, VM2, VM three okay bucket also i'll just create four and five but while calling i'll call in a for loop so this two i'll comment and i will use a different function yeah i already created here i just kept it a commented and let me call this in a for loop now Okay, now what it will do, it will fetch values from variable and it will create all three VMs or a multiple VMs, whatever the number of VMs I will give. If I am putting uh, 10 VMs or 100 VMs in my VM, VM config, it will create that number of VM. So I think I missed comma here. Let me put comma. Okay. And let me create a storage bucket now. Okay, let me create and I am running the same file again. So now it should create this three virtual machine and this two storage bucket. Let me first go to my compute engine. So here there are no VM1, VM2, VM3. So 
so let me execute it so vpc and sub network it won't create this time because it already exists you can see vpc already exists sub network already exists vm1 got created vm2 also got created now okay vm3 also got created now it will go for storage bucket okay now it created storage bucket 5 and 4 so first we'll verify vm let me refresh okay and it created vm1 vm2 vm3 and in storage bucket it should have 4 and 5 now okay it should created 4 and 5 so we can create a scalable infrastructure like our terraform we just need to play with this a variables and function so i'll be making it a more granular and more customizable that more of the function we can perform and i will share this code in github repo but before that first i will update this code again and i will share one more video where i'll be doing a more granular operation i'll try to make it more customizable where we can customize it in a better way so that's it for this video i will see you again in our next video